Today we're going to be talking about updating your firmware and how to move the medium motor in the educator model. So once your robot is plugged in, you need to go to Tools, Firmware Update, and it's going to say a firmware update's available, and we want to update the firmware. This can take a number of minutes, or it can be really fast. The whole time that you're updating the firmware, you need to have your robot plugged into the computer and don't touch any buttons on the, the robot. It'll say updating with a red light on it. Once it was successful, it'll say so on the computer and then your robot will say starting and it'll take a minute to load up. Just click OK and click close. I'm going to go ahead and open a new project by clicking the plus button, the add project at the top. And today we're going to talk about lifting, that's my EV3 just restarted, we're going to talk about lifting the medium motor. So I'm going to save this as uh, lift medium motor arm. All right. And what we're going to do is actually lift a Lego flower. So I'm going to call it lift flower. And now I want to use the port view to figure out how much I need to move my motor in order to lift it up. One thing you'll notice now that the EV3 is on is that when I updated the firmware, there are no more recently uploaded or recently run uh, programs. And there are only the basic files in here, nothing else. So it completely wipes the memory when you run a firmware update. Now I'm going to be using the arm on my medium motor to lift my flower. This is from the first Lego League hydrodynamics set a couple years ago. And I want the flower to be lifted up so that the water goes in and the flower stays up. So I'm going to be moving my arm from this position up. And what I want to do is always start at the same position. So I'm going to start it with the Legos touching this piece here. So I always know exactly where to start it. Then I'll go over to my port view and my medium motor is in port A. Right now it says zero degrees and it's where I want to start it. And now I want it to just go all the way to the top and that's 151 degrees. So in testing the robot, we came up with 151 degrees of rotation. I am going to use my medium motor to lift that arm and I want to go on for degrees and 150 should be sufficient. That's a good place to start. Notice it wasn't a negative number, it was a positive number, and I'm gonna keep it at 50% power. Uh, that's a good place to start. So I will plug in my robot and wait for it to populate down here. There it is. And download. Now that it's downloaded, I'm going to push the back button and go over to my files and it'll say lift medium motor arm and I'm going to go down to the play button which is lift flower. I'm going to make sure that I'm starting my arm at the same place that I programmed it to be. I'm going to put them right next to the flower where I want to put them and push the play button. One thing important to note about moving this arm is it can only move a certain quantity of degrees. If you program it to move more than what it is able to move, your program's gonna get stuck waiting for this motor to finish rotating all the way around, but it can't rotate all the way around, so it's just gonna be frozen in its program waiting for that block to complete, that block of program. So only ever program this arm to move the distance that it's actually capable of doing.